Today's forecast includes a mild chance of calm. <laughs> hey everyone, Luther here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we recruited some guys, and I'm forgetting my controls here. But yeah, as you can see. And by some guys, I mostly mean Isaac and Company. Actually, I entirely mean Isaac and Company. We can see they that they have all of their stats from the last game, which is actually pretty easy to win at level 30, if you guys remember from earlier in the Let's Play. <coughs> that being said, I suppose it's time to go do whatever. I wanted to do was actually check on everybody's items. We've got plenty of items here. Um, <coughs> actually, I think we're all whoops. I think we're all good to go. That being said, let's quit derping around the controls and get out of here. And we've got some sweet new songs to listen to in the uh, on the world map here. Yeah, that's gonna, the one that's going to be playing for the rest of the game. <laughs> so get used to it, I guess. Huh? This guy's gonna turn on the roof for whatever element the bomb is. Now the thing. with these guys is, if you do something like this, putting Isaac in the top row without, without Felix, you know, I go pressing the wrong button again. <coughs> you can have a brief demo here. We get Isaac's battle theme playing. Likewise, if we put Jenna in the front row without either Isaac or Felix, we get, uh battle theme from the beginning of this game. So that's nice to know. Being said, I think I'm gonna have this set up the I think I want the set of three something like this. Because I'm really big on physical attacking, as you guys probably remember. Um, anyway. People work together even a little spiritual power can work great wonders. We send everyone back to the village so their hopes will not impair your flight. Oh, guess they finished working on the wings. <coughs> it's almost time. Time to watch a legend become reality. If everyone would just obey Hama's request, the ship will surely fly. The wind ship of the Nemos flies once again the whole world, not the whole land shall be made free. Maybe the legend says anyway, but what land needs free? We seem free enough. Once you remove the stone anchors weighing the ship down, it should fly. <coughs> like I said, forecasts slight like chance of cough. I've been waiting for you, Felix. Take a look at your ship. Not you have been given wings, all obstacles in your path will vanish forever. However, it is not the wings alone that make the ship's power of flight. Synergy is the force that powers the wings of the memory. If the ship is to fly, you will need to focus the power of your mind. You have visited Shaman Village recently, have you not? 
now is the time to make use of the powers you acquired there. Now, use the power of hover to raise your ship. First, you may not want to move your ship too high or too far. It would be difficult at first, but that is to be expected. After all, this is your first flight. But your quest should not demand much more of you. Now, be confident and set sail. All of Contigo is watching. Show them your power and make your vessel fly. Hey, wait! Master Hammett requested that deliver this to Isaac and I totally forgot about it. Well, you better hurry. It's supposed to deliver this to Isaac. It's not too late, is it? On my way here, I stopped in Calabria for to speak with Master Hammett. He was quite upset that you hadn't returned to visit him so that he could thank you. So he requested that I take this with me to attack him. The pot is a gift of thanks from Master Hammett. Take it, please. The power of the power. I'm confused. Or a Halcon. It's a forgeable item. We can forge stuff with it. Good, so we're staying off now. Then the sea we go! Now that our ship has wings, we hold the B button, you can fly. We did it! The ship took off without a hitch! Yeah, but shouldn't it be flying a little higher than this? Tama told us that we wouldn't be able to fly very high until we were more familiar with cover. Let's see how far we can take this thing. Shiba, what's wrong? You don't look too happy. Do you remember when I needed you know when I told you I had my own reasons for joining your quest? You're so secretive. Are you going to tell us now? I'm quiet again. It's okay. You don't have to tell us if you're not ready yet. <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm getting sick. I thought that if I went to Jupiter Lighthouse, I would learn who I was. I remember the people of La Vera talking about how Sheba fell from the sky. In my life, I've been looking for the answer. Where was I born and why was I abandoned? You knew Felix was going to Jupiter Lighthouse eventually, and so you went along with him. You didn't find any answers, did you, Sheba? I'm sorry, Shiba. I was so excited to find Contigo that I didn't even consider your feelings. But why is everyone so down all of a sudden? Ferran raised Shiba like his own daughter. He's cared for her ever since he first found her. Yes, that's true, but... He can never be his real daughter, is that it? Garrett, you don't have to be so blunt about it! No, he's right. I'd want to know my real parents, no matter how caring for I might have been. Do you think so? If it were me, I doubt it would bother me at all. Sheba, you may not notice, but you and I are very similar. What do you mean? Well, it's not exactly the same situation, but... I was born in a poor village. My memories are hazy, but I still remember it. I was only four when Babby took me under his wing. See, even though I was young, I was quite intelligent. Babby had heard about me. Babby took you to Tolia to further your education to raise you as a scholar. I'm separated from my parents so early in life, I've never known the comforts of a true home. Bran has always been like a father to me. I must have been very lucky. I should say so. Thank you, Creighton. I feel better now. I'm glad I could help. Well, we should be going. Let's hurry on, Felix. <coughs> yeah, let's. Now that we have Isaac and the gang, there are a whole bunch of places we can get to now, so we'll probably be exploring for a while. First place I want to go is... Um... Well, there's a place down here we can get to. Uh, it's got a... Yeah, that cave right there. It's got a summon tower for us. Just gotta find a way to get into the cave. One of the great things about the hover ship is that you won't have any encounters while you're flying, which is a very nice thing. But it can't go through forests. Those things. 
Also, while you're flying, it uses up everybody's PP. So, be sure you watch that meter. Can I use parts from here? I guess so. can now summon whoever. I uh, it sounds uh, Aztec-ish, but I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. <coughs> anyway. Okay, so this might not be obvious to all you people watching this on YouTube, but the colors on this are... I, the colors out of bounds are way off for some reason. That is very... I don't remember if it was that nice spill on the game the way I never really had much of a reason to go here. Right now. Instead, it's time to get going. Where are we going next? Well, here we are in Gondor, but I don't want to be here. This is our next destination in the story, but there's I have a lot of places I want to take Isaac first, especially now that I have the uh, horse gem from the first game. Is this even the right place? Is this Sangara? No, we're still in Gondor. I want to go to Angara. For two reasons, mainly, actually. One, to show off a really crazy glitch, and second, to a the right spot. I would say so. Alright, so if you position your ship just right and jump out of the ship, you can actually pass the mountains here. It won't seem all that impressive at first, but just wait and see. Oh yeah, party of physical attackers, it's a thing. But, well, I guess Mia isn't so much a physical attacker, but I'd rather have her than Garrett for the healing. Mia is the best healer in the game, quite frankly. Anyway, this should be looking familiar right about now. It's the, uh... As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, this is the Caragol Sea. We are now in the oops, We are now in the in Golden One Land zone town. So why don't we go back and visit Vale, huh? That'll be exciting. Can't go that way. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. What the deep a deep. <coughs> Hi! This is the way to bail, right? And then totally derp, derp, a derp, a derp. This is. This. I'm going in completely the wrong direction here. I've been recording for 15 minutes, but that does not matter because I will not stop until we have reached our destination and done something significant. Science demands it! I 
so yeah, I believe it's right up this way. So, well, these enemies totally give it away. Yes, we are in the area where the first stone center is, and we are totally overpowered by our place in the place. Vault doesn't seem to be here, though. Did it disappear? Did it just not do a thing? Here's Vale. There's Soul Sancta, but we can't enter Vale. Yeah, this place is just... Here for some reason. I mean, I think it's you. I think the map screen shows it in the ending sequence, which is why they program in a place marker. But yeah. <clears throat> um, originally, this game and the first Golden Sun were gonna be a single RPG on one cartridge, but they didn't have enough space, so they split it up into two. Which I guess also let them. Uh, I gave them time to polish Golden Sun, Golden Sun the Lost Age a little more. Speaking of Golden Sun, the, what do you guys all think about the ending of Dark Dawn? I thought it was very uh, unsatisfying. I'm probably just going to leave it at that to avoid spoilers, but yeah, I wasn't very satisfied at all. There was a pretty obvious sequel book, and I kind of hope they make a fourth one sometime soon. <coughs> yeah, let's get back to our ship. Yep, uh, be careful that you don't get stuck. Not that it's very easy at all to get stuck, but... Here we have a mining town called Loho, and it is filled with dwarves. I see what you did there, Camelot. Anyway, um... Is there an easy way to get up there? Break down this wall, it's all yours. <laughs> okay then. Let's see, we can get out up here, but what does that do for us? Not very much. There's something buried in the sand there, do you guys see that? We should come back when we have a way to break this down. Well down, like preferably a cannonball of some kind. Yeah, they don't have any ammunition. Yeah, we need some we need ammo and some way to make it explode. So that is probably what we will be doing in the next actually no, we're still exploring. Yeah, that Jenny it mocks me. That being said, I think there's another summon tablet that we can get up here. I think it is up this way. Yeah. Angara Cavern. There's a long staircase down. What is this place? Oh yeah. Eh? That's right. Need to use the carry synergy that I got in the first game. First game. Yeah, that was the way of saying that, but yeah. Gotta carry it over the boundary here. And 
pick this block up and drop it on top of the other one. And just move it aside. So they think they screwed this up. Yeah, I screwed it up. Dang it. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to know, huh? Position. Let's just jump across by that Who is this? I can't remember. <coughs> this is a forest. Okay. Yeah, I probably pronounced that wrong again, but maybe the thing of thing. I am not very well versed in world mythology. <laughs> Let's just say that. Japanese names I can at least pronounce, but the other things that no. Now that that's been taken care of, we really don't have very many places left to actually do we? I don't know. Anyway, I guess we, I will uh, uh, see you guys next time, ish. So yeah, see ya.